name to a young woman. I want to turn to a video recording that was posted to Facebook three weeks ago, that was January 18th, and then went viral across Egypt. It's reported by it's recorded by a young Egyptian named Asma Mahfouz. In the video, the veiled 26-year-old activist appealed to her fellow citizens to join her in protest at Tahrir Square on January 25th to demand their rights. Asma Mahfouz is one of the founders of the April 6th Youth Movement. The group's been credited with playing a leading role in organizing the January 25th protests. This is Asma. Four Egyptians have set themselves on fire to protest humiliation and hunger and poverty and degradation they had to live with for 30 years. Four Egyptians have set themselves on fire, thinking maybe we can have a revolution like Tunisia. Maybe we can have freedom, justice, honor, and human dignity. Today, one of these four has died, and I saw people commenting and saying, may God forgive him, he committed a sin and killed himself for nothing. People have some shame. I posted that I, a girl, am going down to Tahrir Square and I will stand alone and I'll hold up a banner. Perhaps people will show some honor. I even wrote my number so maybe people will come down with me. No one came except three guys, three guys and three armored cars of riot police and tens of hired thugs and officers came to terrorize us. They shoved us roughly away from the people. But as soon as we were alone with them, they started to talk to us. They said, enough, these guys who burned themselves were psychopaths. Of course, on all national media, whoever dies in protest is a psychopath. If they were psychopaths, why did they burn themselves at the parliament building? I'm making this video to give you one simple message. We want to go down to Tahrir Square on January 25th. If we still have honor and want to live in dignity on this land, we have to go down on January 25th. We'll go down and demand our rights, our fundamental human rights. Again, that video posting by the young Egyptian activist Asma Mahfouz on January 18th, one week before the start of the Egyptian uprising. While much of the youth organizing in Egypt has been over the Internet, much of it has been through anonymous postings. In her video postings, Asma Mahfouz speaks directly to the camera and identifies herself. The boldness of this act, speaking out so forcefully as a woman, inspired many others to start posting their images online as well. On the eve of the protest, Asma posted a follow-up video outlining some of her expectations. It's now 10.30 p.m. on January 24, 2011. Tomorrow's the 25th, the day we've been waiting for, the day we all worked so hard for. The most beautiful thing about it is that those who worked on this were not politicians at all. It was all of us, all Egyptians. We worked hard. Children no older than 14. They printed the poster and started distributing it after prayers. Old people in their 60s and 70s helped as well. People distributed it everywhere they could, in taxis, at the metro, in the street, in schools, universities, companies, government agencies. All of Egypt awaits tomorrow. I know we are all nervous right now and anxious. But we all want to see tomorrow's event happen and succeed. I'd like to tell everyone that tomorrow is not the revolution and is not the day we'll change it all. No, tomorrow is the beginning of the end. Tomorrow, if we make our stand despite all the security may do to us and stand as one in peaceful protest, it will be the first real step on the road to change. The first real step that will take us forward and teach us a lot of things. Our solidarity and planning is a success in itself. To simply know that we must demand our rights, that is success. Asma Mahfouz. The next day after that recording, hundreds of thousands of Egyptians poured into Cairo's Tahrir Square, Liberation Square, to call for the ouster of President Mubarak and an end to his regime. The turnout was unprecedented, even among the organizers, including the April 6th youth movement. The next day, Asma Mahfouz posted another video with her reaction. She called the demonstrations the happiest day of her life, but said there's still more work to do. The people want to bring down the regime. This is what we were all chanting yesterday, January 25, 2011. 
thousands upon thousands. I could not count how many there were. Demonstrations from all sides. Riot police could not control the sheer numbers. What we learned yesterday is that power belongs to the people, not to the thugs. Power is in unity, not in division. Yesterday, we truly lived the best moments of our lives. We learned that the Egyptian people are not chaotic or disorderly. The government keeps saying that we are a chaotic people and a revolution will lead to chaos. Yesterday, we were truly one hand, concerned for one another. Yesterday, not even one girl was harassed, even among those thousands. No one stole anything. No one struck anyone. No fights broke out. We were defending each other. Everyone was concerned for one another. Some bought water bottles and distributed them. Others distributed sandwiches. We all said it was from our hearts. Long live Egypt. Some boys and girls even cleaned the streets of trash and garbage. This is the Egyptian people that we have always dreamed of. I can now say that I am proud to be Egyptian. I truly wish to kiss every Egyptian's forehead and say thank you for being Egyptian. I never imagined that I would see this, but we must continue. The riot police was after us until 5 a.m., chasing us to beat and arrest us. Yesterday, we saw them scared. Live ammunition and rubber bullets and tear gas and water cannons to break us up. But we did not break up, and we're still united. That was Asma Mahfouz, 26-year-old Egyptian activist, part of the April 6th youth movement. We will post the full video that she posted on January 18th before the uprising, calling for people to go to Tahrir on our website at democracynow.org. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report.